This is the project, SOS Children's Village in a day. We admit orphans, we admit children who are abandoned, we admit children who are neglected, we admit children who are severely abused. I came here when I was 18 months old, me and my sister. My sister was two at the time and we grew up in house three. Obviously, I don't know why I'm at the village. I've never spoken to my parents about being why I'm here. You know, some people are very mean. They don't understand the situation you're in and where you come from. They have this fixed perception of who you are and what you do. And I started being depressed and seeing as everyone is an enemy, basically. So it made me really feel that I was like, I was not wanted. I was not worthy of love. And eventually it led to me trying to take my life in grade nine. I feel so much things would have been different if you had a loving mother who would love you unconditionally because sometimes you long for that love. You wonder what you as a child did wrong. You want to know like what you could fix so you could have them in your life. You would do anything to be with them. And unfortunately, that just didn't happen for me, but I'm over it. It does get emotional from time to time, but I've forgiven and I'm ready to love my life. SOS Children's Villages essentially exists in order to create families and support for children. And we will offer those children everything that we can in order to ensure that they grow to success. From education to health care to clothing, food. With the SOS basically gave me a family. Brothers and sisters, a roof over my head, food, clothed me. They gave me a mother, which I did not have. A mother is someone you see to the child's every need that is a mother. They are part of you. You have to fill that gap. It makes me feel nice because I've never had children, but now I have a lot of children that look up to me and take me as their own mothers. Education is one of the most critical aspects of what we do. And so we do all we can uh, to try and ensure that each and every child has access to education. They basically put me through school and that's the most important thing for everyone to go through school because you need education to succeed. Uh, this year she's doing her last course uh, on her hotel management with the uh, University of Johannesburg. She's one of those girls who will make us proud. They have a love for meeting people and making them happy and putting a smile on their face. So I decided to go into the hospitality industry. I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world, just to see someone smile and say thank you. That is more than anyone can ask for. At the end, my bigger dream is to have this hotel, my five-star hotel. My hotel, when you walk into the doors, there will be two staircases going up. At the bottom, in between the staircases, it will be your reception area with a beautiful fountain in front. It will be a gateway to fun and adventure. And the aim is to unite families, to bring them together and have a blast. That's my hotel. Bonnie, she aims very high. And I love that about her, because nothing is keeping her back. Everyone is here for a reason. Your future might not be bright right now, you might not see the light at the end of the tunnel right now, but there is light. And as long as I have a roof over my head in my dream, and I'm determined to achieve what I want to achieve, nothing will bring me down. We have partnered with the SOS Children's Village and donated a total of $200,000 towards various programs across different parts of the continent. Education's played a key role in my life and help me become the person I am today and pursue the opportunities that are available to me today. It is so heartwarming, it is so heartwarming to actually see that we're creating that impact to allow a child or children to develop themselves, to grow themselves. I'm very grateful to all of them and they must know their money does not go to waste because without their help, many of us would have gone to bed hungry, many of us wouldn't have a roof over our head and they provide that shelter, security, family, love, and they give us hope for the future. I will thank them from the bottom of my heart because without them I wouldn't be half the person I am today.